Hi. So, uh, I'm four years on testosterone. Really, that happened like 11 days ago. I just didn't film a video until now. My bad. Uh, yeah, so I'm four years on testosterone. It's more like three years and 11 months because of access issues, but we don't gotta talk about it. For all intents and purposes, I'm four years on testosterone. Uh, the date passed, so I'm just counting it. Again, I've said this the past couple times, not really any big differences since the last time I did an update video. I'm sure there's been, like, small gradual things I haven't really noticed, but past, like, the first year or two, it's been pretty... Pretty, pretty low-key any changes that I've noticed. It's, at this point, more of just, like, maintaining certain things. Uh, but again, I, I haven't been able to take it for, like, a month, month and a half, and there hasn't been anything too, too significant on that level. So, like, do with that what you will. Um, so more of a general life update, I guess. What has happened since the last time? I have a girlfriend now. Uh, did... Spamalot, uh, musical, and I'm a senior in high school now, those I think are the three main things. Uh, yeah, so I don't really have anything too notable to say this time around. Um, I'm gonna do the voice comparisons, and then I'm gonna answer a few questions I got, and that's about it. So we'll start with the voice comparisons, starting with, um... Normal voice comparisons, here you go. I had a hematology appointment, and it turns out everything's great. I didn't even need to get blood work done. And you know, I'm also a year on testosterone, which is cool. I am two years on testosterone, and also my Ricky Montgomery CD arrived. These two things have nothing to do with one another. I just think they're both pretty neat. Uh, as of yesterday, when filming this, I am officially three years on testosterone, which is pretty weird. My name is Tyler, and I am four years on testosterone. And I'm gonna we'll do singing comparisons. Save can be contained, so pick me from the dark and pull me from the grave. Cause I still feel alive. This opens, I start to notice, and I still feel alive. Find forward, back into orbit. That's the inner, so I'ma stick around across and be a mentor. Bust a few rounds and motherfuckers remember what the thought is. I brought all this so you can survive when law is lawless. Feeling sensations that you thought was dead, no schooling, and remember God, it's all in your head. I ain't happy, I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long, the future is coming on. Cause I'm a devil who's searching for redemption, and I'm a lawyer who's searching for redemption, and I'm a killer who's searching for redemption I'm a motherfucking monster who's searching for redemption I wanna be your slave, I wanna be your master And now I, ha I posted on my Instagram story I was like, hey, I'm gonna be recording my four years update uh, do you have any questions? And I got two questions back I don't remember who they were from I can probably go back and check uh, for when I post this on Instagram, so I can be like, hey, I answered your question. But the questions were, uh, well, the first one was, does it hurt to take? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a shot. All shots kind of hurt to take, or at least most of them. Um, it depends. Like, sometimes it doesn't hurt, and then sometimes it hurts a lot. Uh, it's never, like, god-awful, the worst thing ever, but, like, it stings, it's uncomfortable, sometimes the sight is, like, sore afterwards. It's just shot. I know there's other methods of taking testosterone, like, there's gels and patches and stuff. I'm sure those probably don't hurt at all, or at least a lot less. But, yeah, no, it's a shot. It hurts, <laughs> but it's not, like, the worst thing ever, and it's definitely worth it for me, at least. And the other one... Uh, was, uh, how long did it take something about voice settling while performing? Because I, I do a lot of performances. I'll just say this. The first year, 
<laughs> I did updates every month for the first year. Um, <laughs> ooh, the singing parts of those. Part of it is just I wasn't a very good singer, like in general. Um, I didn't become a better singer until I got into high school. <laughs> um, but also it was kind of rough that first year because my voice was shifting a lot. So my vocal range was shifting a lot and it was kind of hard to keep track of because I went from like a mezzo soprano to a tenor one within the span of a year. Now I'm a tenor two, which was a much more gradual progression. Uh, it's just like a lower tenor, um, but not low enough to count as a baritone. So yeah, <laughs> rough. That's like three vocal range switch. Um, so yeah, no, wasn't great. Uh, the first year, I would say after the first year, it was a bit better. And of course, it also helped that I got into chorus and stuff and generally became a better singer. But I, I would say, give it a year, year and a half. But no, that first year was rough. I'm sure. Hello. I'm sure it would also help if if you're already a good singer, I was not. Um, but yeah, no, definitely a good solid year there where it was like, Ugh. as for vocal cracks, not a lot in terms of singing, even during that one year, although that's obviously different for everyone. Uh, sometimes now my voice will crack just talking. Um, that happens kind of after the one year mark, but not really with singing. I don't know if that's just a weird me thing or if that's more common. I wouldn't worry as much about voice cracks as much as just like your vocal range is gonna shift from whatever it is. So like soprano, mezzo, alto to like a tenor or baritone range generally. Uh, usually a baritone range because that's a more common vocal range for guys. So like that's a big shift um, to adjust to. Uh, and, and there's certain things where it's like your falsetto is going to be a lot harder to, to use um, because the way that singing and vocal cords and stuff work for guys is a lot different than it is for your average your average lady. So it's it's a big shift there. Um, but I don't like the idea that like, oh, don't take testosterone, it's gonna ruin your singing voice. That's stupid. I mean, like, there's plenty of people who are great singers who are trans. Have you heard Cave Town's voice? He's fucking fantastic. Cover my ears, I think I'm shutting down. Go and stand by sleep mode offline. Feel nothing in this quiet as hell in my room. He doesn't sound like shit. I feel like anybody who says, oh, D testosterone ruined my singing voice. I think you maybe just weren't that good of a singer to begin with, which is fine, but let's not act like like it's just going to kill your singing voice. It's an adjustment, for sure, um, but if you're willing to stick with it, which anyone, for the most part, in like theater, who is the person who sent this is in theater, you're going to be fine. You're singing anyways. You're going to be fine. It's just going to be an adjustment for like the first year. It's kind of a long-winded answer. I just don't like when people are like, don't take testosterone. You're not going to be able to sing anymore because that is not true. Yeah, no, just practice and be patient. Cool. Uh, but yeah, no, to answer your question about a year. I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>